ओके गुड आफ्टरनून क्लास टुडे एट फर्स्ट आई वांट टू गिव यू माय इंट्रोडक्शन आई एम दीपक राजगिरी फ्रॉम एन पैपसन एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच कंपलसरी मैथ्स फॉर यू एंड इन कंपलसरी मैथ्स आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू अबाउट द ज्योमेट्री ओके सम बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ ज्योमेट्री आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू so at the beginning i want to revise you have already read in class 8 also in class 7 also in class 6 also some basic things i am going to start here from today i mean to say today then i am going to start about the triangle first what is triangle first we have to know what is triangle as you know this kind of figure suppose this is a this vertex is a this vertex is b this vertex is c if you look here then it is clearly seen how many sides are here three sides are here how many vertices are there three vertices are here one is vertex a another is vertex b another is vertex C, and it is a plane figure. It is bounded by three line segments. So easily we can say a triangle is a plane figure which is bounded by three line segments. It doesn't matter whether all the lines are equal or any two angles lines equal or none of the lines or straight lines equal. It doesn't matter. Just first. it is a plane figure which is bounded by three line segments just in the figure i have shown you this is a triangle abc and in this triangle three vertices are here and three lines are here which are joined and then on the basis of the sides on the basis of the sides on the basis of the equality of sides triangles can be divided into three parts one is called equilateral triangle and the next is isosceles triangle and the next is scalene Triangle. On the basis of the sides, what kind of sides are there? Triangle can be classified into three types: equilateral triangle, isosceles triangle, and then scalene triangle. An equilateral triangle means what kind of triangle is called equilateral triangle? What kind of triangle is called isosceles triangle? What kind of triangle is called scalene triangle? We have to be clear about that first. This. are not the new things for you already in class 8 also you have read in class 7 also you have read but i am just revising okay equilateral triangle means if all the sides are equal if all the sides are equal now just a minute please where is doster here no doster equilateral triangle means here a b c this is a triangle and if all the sides of the triangle of a triangle are equal to each other in that situation we say that is what kind of triangle equilateral triangle if all the sides are equal then if all the sides are equal then definitely all the angles of the triangles are also equal in that condition each angle of a triangle is how much degree 60 60 60 degree this kind of triangle is called a equilateral triangle then the next is isosceles triangle what kind of triangle is called isosceles triangle in the case of isosceles triangle this is another triangle i have drawn abc in this triangle if you look suppose 
the sides AB and the side AC, these two sides are if equal, then what we can say, this is what kind of triangle? Isosceles triangle. Any two sides if equal, any two sides, it is not necessary to be these two sides equal, these two sides equal, these two sides equal, any two sides if equal, then we have to say that is what kind of triangle? Is uh, isosceles triangle, okay? Then the next here is scalene triangle, then what kind of triangle is called scalene triangle? Scale. Scale and triangle. Suppose this is P, this is Q, this is R. Then this is if scale and triangle, then none of the sides of a scale and triangle is equal. Means this side, this side, this side. These three sides are not equal to each other. In that condition, we say this is what kind of triangle? Scale and triangle. So Equilateral triangle, isosceles triangle, and scalene triangle. Three types of triangles are there. Okay, and then now the next is again on the basis of angle, we can say on the basis of angle, we can classify on the basis of angles three types of angle. Right, angled. triangle and then the next is acute angle triangle <clears throat> acute angled triangle and the next is obtuse angled Triangle. These are the classification of a triangle on the basis of the angle present in a triangle. Okay. Just before what I discuss is that is the also the classification of triangle, but that is on the basis of the sides. But this classification of a triangle is on the basis of the angles of a triangle. Right angle triangle means if one angle of a triangle is 90 degree, means right angle. Suppose I will draw here this, look this figure, this is A, this is B, this is C and here how much degree angle is formed? 90 degree angle means right angle is formed here. If so, then what we have to say is this is right angled triangle, okay? In the case of right angle triangle, among the three angles, any one angle must be right angle. In that condition, that kind of triangle is called right angle triangle. And the next is acute angle triangle. Acute angle triangle means in a triangle, three angles are there. And if all the angles of a triangle are less than 90 degree, in that condition we say that is what kind of triangle? Acute angled triangle. Just one figure I am drawing here. Suppose. This is P, this is Q, this is R. Suppose this is 50 degree, this is 60 degree, then 6 plus 5, 130, no, no. This is 70, then this is 60, suppose. This is 70 degree angle, this is 50 degree angle, this is 60 degree angle. Okay, here, all the angles, All the angles of this triangle are less than 90 degree. All the angles. It is 50 degree. It is also, it is uh, 70 degree. It is 60 degree. Means all the angles of this triangle are less than 90 degree. In that situation, we say, what kind of triangle this is? Acute angled triangle. And then the next is, uh, obtuse angle triangle. Okay. I am saying you now about the obtuse angle triangle. triangle means in a triangle three angles are there in a triangle three angles are there 
among the three angles if any one angle is greater than 90. In that condition, we say there is a obtuse angle triangle. Just for example, suppose this is 110 degree, it is 30 degree, then this is 40 degree. In this situation, what we see here, one is angle 30, one is angle 40, another angle is how much degree here? 110 degree. In this situation, we say this is what kind of triangle? Obtuse angled triangle. Okay? So, once again I want to say, a plane figure which is bounded by three line segments, that is called a triangle. And if in a triangle all the sides are equal, that is equilateral. If in a triangle any two sides equal, then that is called isosceles triangle. And if in a triangle none of the sides are equal, then that is called scaling triangle. That classification is on the basis of the sides which are present in a triangle. But on the basis of the angles also, triangle can be classified into three parts. Right angle triangle, acute angle triangle, and obtuse angle triangle. Right angle, any one angle must be 90. Acute angle, all the angles should be less than 90. And in the case of obtuse angle, if any one angle is greater than 90, then we have to say that is what kind of triangle? Obtuse angled triangle. Okay? Then now, the next thing, some basic concepts about the geometry, some angles. basic concepts some angles are here complementary angles Discussing about some angles here. One is complementary angles, supplementary angles, alternate angles, corresponding angles, and then co interior angles, and the last one is vertically vertically opposite angles. So first let's discuss complementary angles means if two angles sum, if the sum of two angles is 90 degree, in that condition we say that is what kind of angle? It's complementary angles. If angle sum means two angles sum if 90 degree, in that condition we say complementary angles. Suppose angle A plus angle B equals to 90 degree. Then in this situation, angle A and angle B, these two are called complementary angles. Supplementary angle means if the sum of any two angles is 180 degree, in that condition, we say they are what kind of angles? Supplementary angles. Just for example, I will say here angle P plus angle Q, if that is equal to 180 degree, then what we have to say? What kind of angles are these two? They are supplementary angles. Okay? And then in the case of alternate angles, alternate angles, I want to give here one example. In the case of alternate angles, these two are parallel lines. 
suppose then this is a transversal now this angle and this angle these two angles are called alternate angles and always the alternate angles are also equal if this is 60 degree then this also must be how much degree 60 degree. alternate angles are also equal then the corresponding angles in the four corresponding angle means if these two are parallel lines this is a transversal then this angle and this angle or this angle and then this angle a this should be a if this is b this should be b in the same side here also same thing okay this a and this these two angles and then these two angles they are called what kind of angles corresponding angles and always corresponding angles are also equal if this is 50 degree then this also should be how much degree 50 then if it is 50 this should be 130 and if this is 130 this also must be 130 it is the property of what kind of angle corresponding angles okay so complementary angles sum 90 degree supplementary angles sum 180 degree alternate angles are always equal then corresponding angles also always equal then the co-interior and the vertically opposite angles okay students another two angles are here remaining two angles co-interior angles and vertically opposite angles about these two angles now i am going to discuss okay look here carefully this is one and then this these two are the parallel lines this is a transversal line then these two parallel lines are caught by this one single transversal line then in that situation this and this this and then this i mean to say if this is a this b this is c this is d a and b these two are also co-interior angles c and d are also co-interior angles and always be careful that the sum of the co-interior angle is always 180 degree here also c plus d equals to 180 degree sum of co-interior angle is always 180 degree then the last one that is vertically opposite angle what is the meaning of vertically opposite angle is if any two straight lines any two straight lines intersect this is a suppose this is b this is c this is d they intersect at a common point p then these two angles this angle and this this angle and this angle this a if this then this is b suppose this is c this is d suppose a and b are also and c and d are also vertically opposite angles and always vertically opposite angles are also equal a equals to b c equals to d okay students then today just we discuss about the basic concepts of the geometry some triangle their types on the basis of sides on the basis of angles and some angles complementary supplementary alternate corresponding co-interior vertical these things we discuss in this today class so you students just you revise this all you try to understand by yourself also and then we will discuss another thing in another class so this much for today thank you class bye bye